Hey, I've got breaking news for you. There are no superheroes in reality. But still, have you ever wondered how actors portraying superheroes, have you ever wondered how acts shape? Today, I'm gonna tell you about the workout that can make a Wonder Woman out of any given girl out there. So, let's do this. Dead Bug. Lie on the floor with your arms stretched toward the ceiling. Bend your knees at 90 degrees with your feet raised from the floor. Now, without bending it, lower your left arm to the floor over your head and extend your right leg down at the same time. Both your left arm and your right leg should be parallel to the floor. Return to the initial position and repeat the same thing with your right arm and left leg. Keep switching arms and legs like that for the next 30 seconds. Mountain Climbers this one is a classic full-body exercise that combines a cardio workout and strength training. To perform it correctly, get into a plank position, propping your entire body on your hands and toes. Make sure your hands are directly below your shoulders and your body makes a straight line from the neck down. Now, pull your right knee as close to your chest as you can without losing the form. Tighten your abs to make sure your body doesn't sag. Then switch your legs, straightening the right one back into its initial position, and pulling your left knee to your chest at the same time. It's important to do these motions simultaneously so that your core is tight all the time. Keep switching your legs and do it quickly enough. Ideally, you should be running in place with your upper body propped on your hands. Lateral Plank Walk Get yourself into a plank position, arms outstretched, hands beneath your shoulders, feet only supported on your toes. Make sure your back and legs are completely straight. Now lift your right arm and right leg from the floor simultaneously and shift them to the right. Do the same thing with your left arm and leg, shifting them to the right as well so that you end up in the same plank position. Go back to your initial position by first lifting and shifting your left arm and leg to the left and then do it with your right extremities. Keep doing this little walk for 30 seconds. Bird Dogs Bird dogs are a staple in learning core stability. They engage your abs and back muscles at the same time. They teach you balance, and as an added bonus, they're safe for you even if you've had a back injury recently. Stand on all fours with your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees making a straight line with your hips. Keep your back straight and pull in your abs. Now raise your right arm, reaching forward with it, and your left leg as well, reaching back. Hold the peak position for a couple of seconds and return to the initial one. Repeat it with your left arm and right leg. Plank Hop The form for this one is rather simple. Get into the plank position with your arms straight, palms down, and beneath your shoulders. Put your feet together and keep them that way throughout the whole routine. Now, in a mighty hop, bring your feet forward and to the right with your knees as close to your right elbow as you can. Jump back into the starting position and then hop your legs forward and to the left. Once again, trying to touch your elbow with your knees. This counts as one rep. Continue hopping left and right for 30 seconds. Burpee Broad Jumps Yeah, nobody loves burpees, but they're essential in a full body workout. Burpee Broad Jumps, however, take them to an even more hardcore level. Start out with a regular plank position, tighten your core, and pull your legs to your chest in a swift motion. Next, push yourself up to a standing position with your feet at hip width. Now, without pause, bend your knees, incline forward, keeping your back straight, and leap forward as far as you can. Try landing firmly on both feet, then crouch with your hands planted on the floor, and kick your legs back into the plank position. Crab Toe Touch Sit on the mat with your legs bent at the knees. Place your feet and palms flat on the floor, feet close together, hands behind you, fingers facing your back. Lift your butt from the floor, supporting your weight on your hands and feet. Now, in a slow and controlled movement, raise your right leg straight up as much as you can and touch your toes with your left hand. Return to the initial position and alternate sides. Kick your left leg up and touch it with your right hand. Crab toe touches are awesome when it comes to core training because they keep your abs and back engaged the whole time while making you sweat by doing some aerobic exercise. Forearm Side Plank Hip Dip Get in a forearm side plank by supporting your body on your right forearm. Your elbow should be right beneath your shoulder, with that hand in front of you and relaxed. Keep your feet close together, propping yourself on your right foot with your left one resting on top of it. Dip your hips to the floor in a slow movement. 
try to touch the floor with your right hip and then return to the initial position. Keep doing that for half a minute. And as always, don't rush it. Side planks are a must when it comes to hitting those obliques, which is good because they shape your waistline. And that means no more love handles. Leg lifts. Lie on your back with both your legs and arms straight. Breathe out and, keeping your feet close together, lift your legs up. Be careful not to bend them at the knees. Make it a slow movement, too. Now breathe in and lower your legs back to the floor without actually touching it. After a second or two, lift them up again. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. This exercise is great for strengthening the core muscles, especially the ones in your lower abs. Down Dog Abs Get into the plank position and go to the downward facing dog pose. That's when your butt is lifted upwards so that your body makes a reversed V. Your legs, arms, and back should be straight, hands shoulder width apart, and your head between your arms. Then lift your right leg and stretch it up towards the ceiling. Now bring it back down, bending it at the knee and touching your right elbow with your kneecap. Your arm should stay straight though, no cheating. Lift and extend your right leg up again, then bring it down with the same knee bending motion. But this time, bring it across your torso to your left elbow. Then switch your legs and do the same movements with your left leg. First up, then down to the left elbow, up, down and across to the right elbow. Keep going for 30 seconds. Warrior Balance Stand up straight and lift your right leg so that your knee is at hip height in front of you. Raise your arms and bend them so that your hands are level with your shoulders. Propping yourself only on your left leg, bend forward at the hips, simultaneously extending your arms forward and your right leg backward. Your left leg should be slightly bent at the knee for better support. Pay attention to the form. Your whole body, except the left leg, should form a straight line. No bending at the waist. Pause for a second and get back to the initial position. Keep bending forward for 30 seconds. Push-ups. This is the final exercise of the full body workout to become Wonder Woman. Yay! Push-ups are another basic thing to do, strengthening your chest, shoulders, and tricep muscles. Get into a plank position with your hands directly below your shoulders. Slowly start lowering yourself to the floor, and as soon as you touch it with your chest, push yourself up. And that's actually it. Try doing five sets of three reps, or as many sets of three as you physically can. And that's it for the Wonder Woman full body workout. And last but not least, you should take a rest between every exercise in your workout, but no longer than two minutes. This kind of training is intense, and you need muscle tone and heart rate up to achieve best results. 